Today we're going to talk about how to add negative integers. The process for adding negative integers is easy. Add the numbers as if they were positive and then add a negative sign. Let's walk through four examples of how you add negative integers. Example 1. What is negative 136 plus negative 145? Let's set the problem up as if it was positive integers. So we can take 136 plus 145. Let's add them as you would normally. So 6 plus 5 is 11. 3 plus 4 is 7 plus 1 is 8. And 1 plus 1 is 2. So we have 281. Both of these signs are negative. So we add a negative sign here, and your answer is negative 281. Example 2. What is negative 210 plus negative 125? We set it up as if they were both positive integers, plus 125, and we add. We get 5, 3, 335. Both of these numbers are negative, so we add the negative sign, and the answer is negative 335. Example 3. What is negative 425 plus 100? In this example, we're going to add a negative integer with a positive integer. Adding positive integers together gives you a positive answer. Adding negative integers together gives you a negative answer. But what happens when you add a positive and a negative integer together? Well, the rule for adding positive and negative integers is a little different. First, you take the absolute value of both integers, which means you're making them both positive. And then you're going to subtract them. So we're going to take 425 minus 100. That's going to give us an answer of 325. 325. Now look at the absolute value of these two numbers. The absolute value of four, negative 425 is just 425. The absolute value of 100 is 100. The highest number is the one you take the sign for. Negative 425 has the highest absolute value, so therefore the answer is negative. Let's do one more like that. Following the same steps we had in example three. What is 650 plus negative 175? Well, we're going to subtract them as if they were both positive. 650 minus 175. We're going to have to go over here and borrow. So 10 minus 5 is 5. 14 minus 7 is 7. And 5 minus 1 is 4. So 475 is the result of that. The absolute value of positive 650 is just fixed 650. And the absolute value of negative 175 is 175. 650 is greater. This one is positive. So your answer is going to be positive. Now that we've walked through four examples, try this bonus question on your own. What is negative 918 plus negative 25? Leave your answer in the comments. If you want more practice on adding negative integers, check out my extra practice video that I have linked here. Good luck. If you found the video helpful, consider giving it a thumbs up and a subscribe as it helps the channel grow. If you have a topic you want to see covered, drop me a comment below and let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.